So you don't know how far you can push yourself until you push back against what your body tells you you can't do. I have ran multiple days in a row with the attempt to fatigue my body to simulate the second or third loop of this upcoming 100K. So right now, I've just crossed the 6.2 mile mark. I'm running at a 9.25 pace and I've been running for 58 minutes. First three miles, I went out at 8.13. Realized very quickly, I bit off a little too much. So I'm having a difficulty managing my heart rate right now. Uh, some pretty good, pretty severe pain in the left leg, but I came into this run with that. It's a, uh, it's like a bone issue, but these are the things that I need to know going into this 100K. So this was when it starts hurting. Which way do you go? Do you add on miles or do you take the short route? So the whole goal of this run is to fatigue myself. I have to continue pushing deeper and farther. My legs are feeling fine, but my energy level is at an all-time low. Emotionally, I'm starting to break. I start to question myself. Do I really have what it'll take to complete 100K? Will my legs fade? Will I have enough energy? Will I be mentally strong enough? These are the questions in my training that are extremely valuable to me. It's an opportunity for me to drive my stake and remind myself I am strong enough. I will be happy with the results I give because of the amount of preparation I am putting in. But just around the corner comes a distraction and it's just what I needed yeah, it's me. to finish. There Thank you. I'm fading fast. My heart rate's all over the place. Since Lake Loop has been like 165. My legs are still there, it's just energy. Come on, baby. There you go. I did it. So I know it's hard to see, but that's Tina. Her and her husband, John, are amazing people, but and I could not have finished the run in the pace I did without them. <laughs>